In this paper, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named A Coupled Internal-External Flow and Conjugate Heat Transfer Simulation and Experiments on Radiators of a Transformer. In this slide, we have brought to you the figure 1 of the paper. We are going to validate our CFD simulation results with their experimental and CFD results obtained by the paper. The present model uh, is designed by using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. A new window will appear showing you the dominant extents of your geometry. Also under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units which is meter in this project. Also under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeter. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button, in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the dist for the temperature changes in our computational domain. Under the momentum tab, the most important thing that we should uh, pay attention to is the gauge total pressure, which its amount is equal to zero for this boundary. As for internal boundaries of control fan one to three, uh, there isn't any changes need to be done for these boundaries since they are defined to be internal boundaries. Now as for the fan boundaries, to apply the effect of fans, the fan boundary condition is used in the plates located in the middle of the side of the radiator. Since the input flow to these fans is in the horizontal direction, the rotational speed around the x-axis is considered. The flow in the fans is assumed to be suctioned by default, but in this model, the fan flow must be blowing, so reverse fan direction is activated to change the direction of air flow in the fan. Also, the amount of pressure jump for each fan is defined as a polynomial pressure function in terms of velocity. Thus, the polynomial function has two coefficients equal to 80 and minus 10. As for output boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be pressure out. Just like previous steps, again by clicking on edit, you can change the settings for this boundary. As you can see in this slide, a symmetry boundary is defined around the computational domain. As for the first wall boundary, which is related to the fins, by clicking on edit, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the momentum tab, you can see that the stationary wall motion and no slip shear condition is defined for this boundary. The UDF temperature file has been sent to you with the rest of this project's file. In order to apply this UDF file, you just have to go under the user defined uh, tab and then click on function. After that, you select the interpret it and a new window will appear. Now for other wall boundary, after clicking on edit, you can see that under the thermal tab, the thermal condition of heat flux is defined for this wall and the amount of heat flux uh, for this wall is equal to zero, which means that this wall is set to be adiabatic. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. Now, as for the first report, you can see a volume report with the report type of maximum uh, over the field variable of velocity uh, for the cell zone of flow has been defined. Now, th in this report, the software will automatically calculate the maximum amount of velocity in the computational domain. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, 
there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appear window under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on calculate, the software will start the simulation process. Now, as was mentioned in previous slides about the predefined ESO surface, uh, by going over the surfaces and then right clicking, uh, and then sell going over the new and selecting ESO surface, a new window will appear. In the appear window, uh, in order to see different contours, you just have to select our variable first. In order to do that, under the contours of section, we select, for example, in this case, temperature. And after that, we select our desired surfaces under the surfaces section. After that, by clicking on save or display button, the software will show you the 2D contours of temperature. In this slide, you can see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain and you can easily see how the temp air temperature has increased after passing over the fins. Now you can easily see the effects of three fans over the radiator in this slide. As you can see in this slide we have brought to you and extracted the figure 10 of the paper. Also we have extracted and reported the value of total heat transfer in our CFD simulation. As can be seen in the graph, uh, the experimental results obtained by the paper for the forced air convection over the fin is equal to 52.4, whereas their CFD simulation data has reported 43.58 kilowatt. And the most interesting point is that our CFD simulation is more accurate than the paper, as we have uh, the error of 7.7%. Finally, the summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this slide, we have brought to you the figure one of the paper. As you can see, this is the model radiator used in the paper. This radiator consists of several rows of fins and aluminum plates that increase the heat transfer rate. Hot water flows through the upper and lower pipes of the radiator and its middle fin. However, in our CFD simulation, for simplification, we assume that all the walls of the pipes and radiator fins have determined temperature at different points. Therefore, the temperature profile depends on the height of the radiator plates. And to define this temperature profile, the temperature boundary condition applying a UDF is used, which means that we haven't taken into account the water flow flowing inside the fin and pipes, and we had applied a temperature distribution to the fins. As you can see in this slide and in this graph, which is extracted from the figure 10 of the paper, we are going to validate our CFD simulation result with their experimental and CFD results obtained by the paper. Specifically, we are going to validate our results with ONAF, which would be the heat transfer in radiator, including fans. The present model uh, is designed by using Design Modeler software. The present model consists of three main parts, including the radiator's body, fans, and the surrounding space. The radiator consists of four sections, each of which consists of 14 rows of plate fans and two hot water transfer pipes at the top and bottom of the radiator. Also, three fans have been used to create airflow next to the body of the radiator. The location of fans in the model of horizontal radiator is on the left side of the radiator and creates airflow in the horizontal direction. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is on a structure. Also, according to the physics of the problem and the need for heat transfer between the radiator fin and the airflow, the inflation boundary layer mesh is used on surfaces of radiator walls. Also, the face sizing command on the wall surface of the radiator fins is used to increase the mesh accuracy. The element number is equal to 
to benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.